Hi, it's Linda Bjork here with you for an anti-stress moment. How about that? I'll try to make it quick if you're very stressed out. Um, yeah, the, the stress is not only an epidemic in America and the rest of the world, it is starting to cost us a lot of money and is starting to cost us a lot of emotion, brain function, system functions, and uh, we can get a lot smarter about stress. So here's a trick for you today. Stop thinking that you're the only one in the world. Well, that seems obvious. Like, what kind of crap advice is that? <laughs> I heard it when I said it. But here's the thing. So many people that I coach, so many people that I get in touch with, so many people, uh, including myself, that I know, actually think that my plans should work because I'm the only one here on Earth. If it takes me 23 minutes to get from my job, I mean, from my house to my job, or vice versa, actually, then it's 23 minutes and nothing else should go wrong. And I have no other plans because I leave exactly 23 minutes from door to door. Well, that's a mistake and it causes us a lot of stress. So we make that kind of silly miscalculation thinking that the whole subway system and your children and everybody around you are just sort of what what are they extras in your movie no they're not they have their own will and if you've ever tried to struggle you know a three-year-old into their overalls and get them into daycare and dropping off kids at school you know that their will is very very strong and it might set you back time-wise but we don't calculate for that we don't calculate for the subway to be delayed we don't have a plan b and having a plan b means a lot to lowering your stress levels but because just knowing that well if this doesn't work out then I'll have this to lean on and I know exactly what to do. I have my plan ready for that. This helps me a lot. It really lowers my stress levels to just know that I'm gonna leave enough time for going to the airport and if that fails, there's always this subway I can take instead. Whatever it is, whatever the example is, we feel good if we know that this is not the only thing that is going to help us with our primary goal. And speaking of primary, this is what this is where we make our mistake. We th only think of our primary goal and we think that everything else will just fall down and support our primary goal. So this is why the military is talking about something called PACE, P A C E. And with PACE, P is for primary. Yes, of course, there's a primary project here that we need to have done. But only thinking about that makes you very, very vulnerable for high stress levels. And we don't function, our brains don't function when we're on high stress mode. So let's not go there and let's learn a little bit from the military where the A is for alternative. Another way to say is that is a plan B. What is your alternative if your primary doesn't work out? Let's say you're looking for a job. Your primary going into the interview situation, of course, is to get the job. But if you don't have an alternative plan, you're just gonna reek of desperation. I was a CEO for 10 years. I've been doing a lot of hiring and firing. And I know that smell when someone is really desperate. So let's not go there. Let's not have that be you. That's a stress thing that not only makes us tap into that desperation, it also makes you not very effective. It, your brain, again, doesn't function on stress. Not, not very well. And so you have your primary, you ha have your alternative, and looking at the advice from military, the C stands for contingency. And so you do well in a lot of situations by just thinking through unexpected events. What can happen unexpectedly that I can figure out, I can fold into my plan toolbox, and I'll be prepared for that. This helps lowering my stress levels. 
The E is for emergency. And I know a lot of security, military type people who are, they can't even walk into a store without having their whole emergency plan, plan mapped out. It's quite extraordinary actually how their brains work. And I think for us civilians, it might be more stressful to think about this every single time and everywhere you are. But with the intention of lowering the stress level, I think that having an emergency plan, just knowing if the shit hits the fan, then this is what I'm gonna do. And I have prepared for it. So I'm actually gonna do well, even in an emergency whatever situation it is that you're in and thinking about right now. So that PACE, P-A-C-E, can be very good to keep in mind. This is a mind shift from going to the whole world operates around me and if something goes wrong, I'm gonna be super stressed out and I'm not gonna function. To, I'm actually thinking about this in a more mature way. I'm being prepared so that I can let go and be less stressed. You know what's so wonderful about not worrying about the future because you already have plans for that? You can be present. You can be right here, right now. You can ace that interview. You can ace that presentation. You can ace this interaction in this relationship because you're there. This is not possible when we're stressed out. So with that mind shift, I hope that that's going to help you lowering your stress levels when it comes to quite a few things, projects, stuff in your life that you want to have done. And um, to be continued in another inner business anti-stress uh, episode. See you around. Stay cool.